My name's Johnny Pitts, and although I grew up in the UK, I've always been inspired by my father's African-American heritage and the civil rights history in the American South. So I'm on a journey along the civil rights trail to experience firsthand the soul of the South. Today, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm starting my journey at Kelly Ingram Park, a historic space packed with sculptures and monuments dedicated to the civil rights movement. Barry McNeely from the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute shows me around. We discuss the city's important civil rights legacy. When we look at Kelly Ingram Park, we have to go back to the 1970s. Uh, the mayor of Birmingham traveled to Israel and he was exposed to an exhibit on the Holocaust. And he became impassioned with the idea that if that story could be told in public to make the world a better place, then Birmingham had some storytelling to do as well. It's so powerful as you're walking through that history. Could you tell us some of the stories that people will hear as they're walking through? Kelly Ingram Park is called a place of revolution and reconciliation. And it's revolution because there was a battle being fought there. Thousands of young people are going to march in that park to the lunch counters at the department stores, to the libraries where black people were not admitted unless they had a white person to vouch for them, to City Hall where black people were not allowed to register to vote. September 1963 really seems to me to be a boiling point. The United Clan of America, in response to Birmingham integrating its school system, decided to bomb the 16th Street Baptist Church. That church being a place of refuge and leadership, that bomb went off and four little girls are killed instantly. There was a fifth girl there who was named. What we're talking about here was an unspeakable tragedy. It literally shook the entire world. But this city at its most heartbreaking moment started to find a way past the hate that caused that heartbreak, and it became something that was transformative. If people from around the world were to take anything from Birmingham, it is the notion that change is possible. The people here in Birmingham had every reason not to believe that they could alter their circumstance, but they did it anyway. It feels like every corner of Birmingham has a story to uncover. How is the city's rich civil rights history felt today? To understand more about modern Birmingham, I meet up with Alabama comedian Jermaine Funny Maine Johnson, who lets me in on his local knowledge. Born and raised in Alabama, but you've toured a lot of America through the comedy circuit. What brings you back to Alabama, but specifically Birmingham? This is a hidden gem. People are nice here. We got great food, great beaches, great views. What else do you need? One of the amazing new features in Birmingham is this underpass known as the City Walk, which is just incredible. The City Walk, it's got everybody in the city buzzing. They're happy to go down, enjoy concerts. They're taking their families and their kids. It's just been a great addition for Birmingham. It's going to be around for a long time. So it's a very historic area. Between 19th to 16th Street, there were, you know, marches going on, people fighting for their rights to be able to be diverse and do the things that we're doing now. Modern Birmingham owes the civil rights movement everything. Without them paving the way and showing that we could be better as a unified people, a diverse people, and we take race out of things and we just work, uh, possibilities are endless. Do you ever worry that it's going to get too cool for school? Like, I, I could just see this as a type of city where there's going to be a few hipsters around here in a few years, if not a few months. <laughs> oh, no, they're already here. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we welcome everybody. That only adds to the diversity. Can you give me some of your favorite spots just between you and me and maybe half of Europe? <laughs> All right, so tips to go when you're in Birmingham. It's going to depend on your flavor. You know, if you like some down-home southern food, you can, I can take it to the east side, the west side. If you like to party, I can take it to Lakeview. But of course, I'm a comedian, so if you want to laugh, you got to stop by the start on Comedy Club. If I mention your name, will I get any extra special? Probably not. They <laughs> may charge you more. Birmingham has surprised me in so many ways, and the local love for this city is really clear to see. It feels like a mashup of cultures, attitudes, compelling history, and southern charm. And I can't wait to explore more next time I'm back in town.